It is 1980 in Northern Ireland, outside Belfast somewhere. The lady's name is Julie. Her son comes home excited about a new game he heard about at school with his friends. And he basically creates his own Ouija board. And I've seen people do this. They don't have an actual board. They just take strips of paper, little pieces of paper, and write the alphabet out on and, you know, all the other parts, the numbers, the yes, no, goodbye, all that stuff. And they just take a glass, turn it upside down, and use that as the planchette. Julie didn't know the name Ouija. It wasn't a thing that she was aware of, but she knew the practice as a talking board from her own childhood and recalled that it was basically just an innocent game, you know, like ghost stories and stuff you do when you're a kid. They set it up, of course, and, you know, they're playing with this thing and the glass begins to move around. Everyone, of course, is also protesting their innocence. I'm not moving it. It's not me. It's not me. (laughs) 